We are here to talk about celebrating inner peace, which is an event we're hosting 14th to the 16th of July, 2017 at the Living Miracles Monastery in Utah. And I just really am so excited that you can join us for this. <laughs> well, I'm always honored to talk to anybody who's in love with the Course in Miracles. What can I say? <laughs> what would you say is, is, is the most valuable lesson you learned from their example? Well, Bill was certainly a dear friend, an amazing human being, and and I would say he was a mentor, but he was not a mentor because he told me a lot of stuff. In other words, Bill, Bill and I, strangely enough, did not talk about the content of the course. I knew that he knew it, he knew that I knew it, and was like, what to say about that? I discussed it with other people, but Bill and I, enjoyed this kind of energetic kind of just loving and adoring one another <laughs> and obviously not romantically i was married he was a gay man but it's as if we recognized some some ancient connection with one another and the thing that's interesting is that he was visiting at my house one time because I would visit him and he would come and stay with our family in Denver. He was in California, of course. And one time after the kids went off to school, he said, you know, I think we're supposed to do some kind of a project together, but I have no idea what it is. Now this is like only, the course was published, it, it was first presented to the public in 1976. So this is probably 1979, because I met him in 1978. So no, nobody had written anything at this stage of the game and the, hardly anybody knew about it. We did actually teach together. I don't know if you know that or not, but um, Bill and Jerry Jampolsky and I, and, and often a fourth person would do day long workshops on the course, primarily for the various campuses of the University of California, not exclusively that, but primarily that. And when he died, in 1988 and we hadn't done a specific project but all of a sudden I thought as I was writing his book well Bill this is the project <laughs> that we're doing together you happen to be on one side of the veil and I happen to be on the other but this is our work that we're doing together and it very much felt that way. I had any number of experiences after Bill passed that made it very clear he was present. So we have a very strong relationship. It was as if I was kind of a comforter for him because he was so sick and tired of this endlessly long process and of the difficult relationship that he had with Helen in general. And when he moved out to California, he said, I don't even want to have anything to do with this course. You know, I want to be as far away from it as I possibly can. I need a break. It was as if the pressure of this enormous job he had at Columbia and the huge pressure of trying to get all this extra work done in secret with all of the stuff that his relationship with Helen and Ken and himself, all of that that was coming up was like an enormous, enormous kind of emotional, intellectual load. And he just needed a chance to decompress. I, I was kind of his decompressing partner. Mm. And he had done his service, he had done his function in form that was given to him, and now the function of, of going all the way for peace. Yes. And I, I really feel that's um, what we're inviting people into when they come to this weekend in Utah. You'll be there, John Mundy, Gary Renard, David Hoffmeister, Maria Felipe, and James Twyman's bringing the music. But we're there to celebrate that experience of presence and to remind everyone of the purpose of what this book is for. It's not to improve our lives, it's to come into a deeper present experience of this love. And I, I can feel it joining with you right now and I feel a deep, deep gratitude that we're going to have you there to tell us more of these stories and parables and, and share your insights of your own deep and personal experience as you've been going along. 
Absolutely. And if we keep in mind, peace of mind is our goal. And a lot of people go, oh dear, peace of mind, that doesn't sound very interesting. Well, that's because you don't know what it is. <laughs> peace of mind, the purpose of this course is more exquisite than any words can ever describe. That's beautiful. And I feel that um, there's a presence. You, this will be your first time visiting us at the monastery, but there's a presence there. It's only a place. Mm -hmm. But there's, because of the devotion of the place in this ca deep canyon, red rock with a little river running through it, there is that invitation into that presence. And it's a more informal weekend, you know, going inward experience as well as celebration that we're having. So it is really facilitating that coming together in that great intimacy. We have a campground, we have people staying at the monastery, there's nearby hotels. So there's a great variety for people. They're, they're even, ca you know, caravanning across the country as oh, well as flying <laughs> from the South Pacific <laughs> to all just join in this celebration and this experience together. And I think it's just so important for us to support it's a fun raising event to support also the work of the Foundation for Inner Peace going forward who are the publishers of the course and do all those wonderful translations which just keeps allowing all of us, the mind, to keep accessing this great material that uh, Bill, Helen, Ken and Judy just put such devotion into gathering into this um, or original format so yeah maybe you could just talk a little about the work that they're doing I, I could of course I've known them from the beginning and one evening we spent with Judy and her husband at the time Bob Scutch who is still an integral part of the foundation he runs all of the business of the foundation and Judy and her current husband Wit do the do everything else you know they do the trans wit is primarily in charge of the translations and judy is the all-purpose uh godmother of a course in miracles who i call her the matriarch of uh, of a course in miracles but that first night she said i know why you're here i'm bequeathing bill to you so it was kind of like she was bill's big sister and i was the little sister who came along to help with that but Judy and Wit and Bob's devotion to doing nothing but everything in support of the course has been nothing short of spectacular. Mm -hmm. And it's great that we have Tamara Morgan, um, uh, Judith's daughter, and then we have Bob Rosenthal, and they're going to be taking uh, FIP, the Foundation for Inner Peace, forward with the same passion and devotion and commitment and it, we'll have both of them with us at celebrating inner peace and we're hoping to beam uh, Judy and Wit in so all of you can visit miracles-monastery.org and all the details are on there or you can go to the celebrating inner peace uh, Facebook page and be sure to invite your friends <laughs> great <laughs> thank you so so much Karen thank you you're so welcome I look forward to seeing you